Hello, and welcome to Courage to Change, and you are loved. Yes, you are. Thank you for being here. This is our reading for February 29th. We're going on our healing journey. It is certainly my healing journey to do these readings, and my hope is that I am able to help somebody else out there. You know, Courage to Change is a book written for family members and friends of someone who has an alcoholic issue or addiction. These stories are powerful, and I believe they can help somebody else that it doesn't have to be alcoholism. It could be another form of addiction, and these stories are powerful. So my hope, as I go on my journey, I can help somebody else out there. February 29th. I am told that the automatic pilot in an airplane does not work by locking onto a course and sticking to it. Instead, it steers back and forth over the path of an assigned course and makes the necessary corrections when it senses that it has strayed. In reality, the autopilot is on course only 5 or 10% of the time. The other 90 or 90% of the time, it is off course and correcting for its deviation. I, too, make continuous adjustments. I am much more willing to do so be because I have stopped expecting myself to be perfectly on course. I am bound to make plenty of mistakes, but with the help of an Al-Anon program, I am leaning and learning to accept mistakes as a valuable part of the adventure of living. Today's reminder, I can learn to steer the course my higher power sets by relying on a process of trial and error that includes a willingness to continually make adjustments. And our quote, a man who makes no mistakes usually does not make anything. That's from alcoholism, the family disease. Sticking on course, having a plan, Trying to adhere to that plan, controlling to make sure that we stay on course. Life happens, my folks. Life happens, and we are going to pivot. <laughs> we are going to switch directions. That's part of life. We don't want this strict, rigid way of living. That's just not living. We want to be able to adapt. And do it with some grace and ease. And you know the quote, a man who makes no mistakes usually does not make anything. And what really is a mistake? Maybe something didn't turn out the way we wanted to turn out. I, for one, will admit when I make a mistake, I've actually learned that not how to do something, but how to do something. You actually learned by, by making the mistake. Somehow, somewhere down the road, we look at our mistakes as these negative things. And actually, they're not. They're, they don't have to be negative. We should really flip the script on mistakes. What we should be saying is that we tried something and we created an, an end result. And that end result, well, well, it didn't quite turn out the way we thought it would, but it did turn out this way. Maybe accept the way it turned out. Or if you still want it to turn out a certain way, well, then keep trying until it happens. Just know that at least you're trying. It's better to try than not try at all. This is our reading for February 29th, and a reminder that you are.